All right. So, if you're not following me, 48 Sharks, or Ross Fisk, R-O-S-S-F-I-S-K, please do so now at your own discretion because I didn't force you. You want to do it. This is not a Jedi mind trick. You are just, you're just going to, you're just going to follow this, man. Um, but we appreciate it. And this is not a trick. This is not subtle suggestion. Anyway, this is not Mysterious Mysteries. This is 48 Sharks reviewing, apparently, a Minecraft World Tour sped up. Um, I just want to preface, looking downward, this, sh this does show a lot of creativity, actually, right away. You don't know what we're standing on, but we do have several farms. An enormous wheat farm, which I... I just got out of hand because there's a cow farm in here. This is a house for rent. So if you guys need a house, let us know. Um, like, subscribe, comment, and uh, let us know what you can afford. And we can pretty, we, we'll bring you in. This is the, <laughs> the bunk bed factory where all the sheep are. And yeah, you know, we thought putting fences would work. I just realized it's not connected so we'll just begin <laughs> that's ross's ross fisk's swamp tower um you'll see that later on so this is the roof of our og house um this is one of the first rides that we made because why not make rides when you first start playing minecraft right so right here this was like one of our first safe houses um this, I, I don't know what happened here. There's, there was just so much wood. So much wood. <laughs> I honestly still don't know what happened with that. So yeah, we come up. Sorry for the little flickering, but uh, just kind of pausing to commentate. Looking around, yeah, so we go up. I realize that's where the beginning of the ride actually began. And there, we're still under construction for that, but... I'm not even touching anything right now. This is like literally five times speed. The Ross Fisk made this his entire self. <laughs> like all the way up with all of these bricks. And um, yeah, no, I, I got, sorry Ross, but I was trying to <laughs> ride my boat down. And I realized we need two blocks wide for a boat. So whoops, <laughs> that was quick. Then I suddenly realized, oh shit, <laughs> the ride is unfinished. So, yeah, essentially the goal is that this is going to go all the way up, all the way up. This is Ross Fisk's um, Pirates of the Caribbean ride. There's two routes. It was going to split off in more ways, but we had so many different ambitions and ideas back then. So this is another thing we try to do. Um, as you see, there's lava and water. We try to cross the streams. <laughs> and I guess make obsidian, I think, with... <laughs> what were those? Stone pickaxes. Not even silver. Oh my god. And then this is just me struggling to make a point that you could still ride a boat on land. This is one of the many hallways. Um, this video shows a good portion of what we have made, but... The hallways, the highways are some of the greatest things that, some of the greatest feats that we've done because every now and then in like little nooks like that one you just saw on the right maybe, there's a chest with food in it. Just so if you're sprinting forever, um, you know, you're never going to like lose health or sprinting speed. This is just a gorgeous picture right here. The farm is so well lit up. I, I'm not even sure why. Oh, maybe because it's outside. Later on, you guys will see the bunker, and that's so dark. So this is our OG house. This is the first house we began with right here. Um, and then we built upward into, like, a little safety bunker because we realized the ground level wasn't safe. So then we started building our own bedroom. This one is my bedroom. It's got – I'm demonstrating how my alarm clock works uh, right here. <laughs> and then this is Ross's room little different layout accidentally took his bed but so we were using trap doors because we were so paranoid 
We kept getting invaded. We like people kept coming in our shit. So then we realized, okay, fuck wood. Start using stone. And then we have our little, you know, uh, tree farm down there for all the wood. This is our moat. We made three levels of moats just because there's one right here, one right here, one right here. Just because we were like, what the fuck? Like, why do we keep getting attacked? And then we had, then I made this like little bridge, which still didn't help. Um, and if you guys didn't see, it's a cows and cows and cows and cows and cows. Incorporated, that's copyrighted. Do not hurt the cows, just feed them that wheat. <laughs> Yes, there's a bed. We're good owners. We sleep with our cows. This was just a way to look out and realize, what have I done with my life? Why am I growing so much wheat? I'm not even going to use it all. This is for sale. This is the, yeah, this is the house for sale. Um, Again, you know, if you guys are still watching, like, subscribe, uh, 48 Sharks, Ross Fisk. This house is for rent. We can definitely upgrade it for you by now. We have the resources. This is the bunk bed factory. <laughs> it's so fucked up, these farms, man. These poor animals. So, and then this is just, uh, I don't know. I just wanted it to look orderly because I'm like, I'm fucking OCD and shit. I just saw him before I saw him in the game. He didn't even blow anything up, though. It's not like andesite, andesite or whatever. So yeah, I come back. Um, that's pretty much it for the OG area. Including the top blizzard po portion. So this is ridiculous. We, Ross and I, man, we went, we, we went hard on this. <laughs> we got this far. And we thought that, I mean, this is five times speed sped up. But even if that took twice as long, it would still be like a minute drive to here. So we put like a little garage you know, a little like a little house, like a little um, midway checkpoint and whatnot, ways to just hide from the environment at night if you get caught. Um, we thought that was extravagant, but then we just kept going. And then again, it's like fuck wood. But then we ran out of stone because we don't really use stone. And then there's uh, the cowboy town that we called it, and I I wasn't gonna show it, but I fell down. Is a little in a missionary fish house. And I go on to tour the cowboy town. <laughs> just, just fucking decimated, bro. We've come here so many times just to pick up shit. Yeah, I'm, I tried to fucking mine a bill. But we've come here so many times. I, we, we didn't even destroy all of this, which is the funny part. I'm like, it might have just been us running from creepers. And, yeah. So I take another boat. I mean, uh, another bed, which you'll see why when the bunker comes into play and I take a completely different boat. That's not even my boat. I thought it was, but that one right there in the back was mine. So there goes our fucking water elevator and boom. So now this is another feat. This is like another long stretch. And I just, it's hilarious. You know, Minecraft is fucking hilarious because you make shit like this. Like there goes in there. That's an indoor garage. Now here goes a fucking perch on top of our roof. And there goes there goes George. George won. Um so yeah, we, we label everything. I forgot how to make these signs, actually. Huh. And this, please, this is this is one of the reasons why you need to follow Ross Fisk, man. R O S S F I S K. He shitted. And Knowing him, likely he's farted. So, <laughs> and antechambers, fucking antechambers. At this point, not only have we realized we need to get the fuck off the ground, add water, and make it difficult for anything that we, even if it's coming, we can slow them down. But antechambers, because it's like compartmentalization, man. That's it, it makes sense why spacecraft do that shit. Yeah, we, we made our little like forestry up here because compartmentalization if one thing fails catastrophically the rest is fine because it's all locked off so there was a little garage up there as well so this is the nether portal 
Again, everything all the way up until this point, Ross Fisk and I have made 100% together, except he did the entire Swamp Tower himself. Which, fuck, man, that, I can't even, I can't imagine how difficult that must have been. Like, annoying, just trying to make that large of a fucking tower going all the way up. And I'm surprised that these highways in the nether haven't actually um, burnt uh, probably the worst material we could have used to build them here. But uh, at least, you know, we, we've carved out some highways and directions. Um, when you guys see the bunker that's about to come up, that is the farm. That is my contribution to this world. And um, we're going to get enough fucking diamonds, man, and we're going to conquer this shit. We're going to have several sets of diamonds, armor. We're going to have several sets of fucking diamond weapons, and we're going to have several fucking houses. We are anal as fuck about everything we do. At least he is halfway. I am fully. I'm OCD as fuck. So. You could pause if you want to see. This is basically just northeast, southwest. Um, the continuation, like this this place over here, this is where we're going to continue more, most likely first. Showing where it is. Um, yeah, this is home sweet home. <laughs> but apparently mobs don't give a fuck and they still spawn anywhere inside the nether which is unfortunate so going back here I realized I actually forgot to show you our nether home base which is these four pillars of water surrounding it disregard that portion I should have edited that out so you right up here and this was our most advanced base so far it's small it's three layered, it has basalt, it has fucking diorite, um, and uh, it's just it's, it's 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 just in the air, and the only way you can get up there is by four water pillars, and then you have a door, and then we have transparency all around, and then if there is a creeper somehow, then we have that middle basalt layer. So anyway, coming down um, right here. This is the bunker, and this is what my contribution has been, um, just because I've been losing my shit lately. So you come up here, and right here, you're going to see a small little bunker entrance. And I'm going to slow this down a little bit. That's that's uh, Carl Jr., and there was another George. He's, he's, he's in there somewhere. But So we have an atrium. Which I'm proud of. Like, fuck, this took so long to make. Like, I this this was all I'm, like this was all full stone. I had to carve out the water underneath my bed because it's like if somebody fucking spawns on my bed, fuck that shit. I put transparent walls through everything. That way, you could go and and just scope everything out just before you even get there, just to make sure it's safe. This is my attempt at making obsidian. I'm not sure how to make obsidian. Apparently, again, more com car uh, compartmentalization. This is like strip mining over here. Um, the further you go, you know, the more advancements you have. Just again, viewing windows, blocking shit off. So car compartmentalization, baby. And then down here is some more strip mining. Apparently, got to go like two blocks. Only mine like every other third block or some shit. Got a little, uh, you know, crafting factory down there. Heading back up. So, yeah, this is the uh, the living room in my room. It's like the master bedroom. That's the TV. And then, so we come down here. This is the farm. Uh, this one is a lot more hostile. That's why we had to mute the audio. Because we don't want to hear all the friendly shit. And at this point, man, not going to lie, I just, I got carried away with all these ducks. Um, I kept breeding them. And I don't even use their eggs, man. Like, oh, I think I go back and I show you. Oh, no, 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 I, yeah, now I show you. Fuck yeah. 
I just, I don't know, man. I, I got a few chickens. Oh, yeah, they're chickens, not ducks. I got a few chickens, and then I saw some more chickens, and I'm like, look at all these chickens. And I just could not stop. I just wanted more more chickens, man. And then a lot of the stuff I do is just because it's fucking ridiculous. Like, I'm, this is a beach I made. Yes, this is a dock. <laughs> yes, those are tanning beds. Um, and there is multiple depths to this. So you can actually go deeper, the deeper you go. This is a beware cave below. But, yeah, I mean, the whole reason why you, there's skylights above, too, actually, to bring in more light. The whole reason to make this is just because it's fucking ridiculous, man. Like, the fact that you actually made this. So we're in the library slash church of enchantment based on ghosts. Yeah, so I got the little, uh, the fucking, I got the aesthetic going on. And then, so this is room, one room, um, I wasn't sure what to do with it, but I'm just gonna make it just like a giant downward spiral to, as far as I can, to bedrock. This is another room I'm not using, but, you know, the reason for all the torches is just because the lighting. Fuck the mobs. So... Going back up to the surface, this is the final thing that I've done. Um, and aside from rebuilding the bunker even more and reinforcing it, this is the final conclusion right here. Yeah, that was the conclusion. Um, thank you for watching, you guys. I really appreciate it. And if you could just follow Ross Fisk and 48 Sharks and I, we would really, really appreciate that. We've been out here for two years. We've been trying, and this is kind of what we really enjoy to do. So, you know, I always say it. If you guys like what we're doing, if you don't like what we're doing, put it down in the comments. Let us know. Subscribe, like, comment, like, subscribe, comment, like, subscribe, comment, like, subscribe, comment, share. Uh, yeah. And then maybe one day I can fight Dad in the Creator Clash. Fuck.